It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word in the Morning, with your host brother Oscar York DeBoers, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning.
Amen. Amen. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. That was the acapella group B A S I C. And they were singing, if I can just get to Sunday, Sunday morning. And you may ask, what's so special about Sunday morning? Well, Sunday morning, Christ rose early Sunday morning. Sunday morning, the church had its beginning on the day of Pentecost. On Sunday morning is when we as Christians corporately come together to praise, praise the Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Brother Oscar, hope you have your ears on this morning. Do you hope do? <laughs> do you have your ears on? We hope that you do, and you're ready to pray up and to praise up this morning. Here with your brother Oscar this morning. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready to praise up? Are you ready to have that snap, crackle, and pop with each step that you take? This morning, are you, are you, are you ready? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I hope that you're ready to praise the Lord this morning and you have your ears on and you are just so happy and blessed that the Lord has given you another benefit of being here this morning. Amen. And amen. It was the psalmist who said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, and it's a grand morning as at that, that the Lord has given us another benefit of another day. We are on the top soil and not the soil on top of us, and we are on this time side of life. He has given all of us another chance, another chance to make what's wrong in our lives right. And to walk closer and closer with him. <laughs> praise him, praise him, my friend. Praise him, praise him in my heart. Amen, amen. I don't know about you, but Bella Oscar was just so blessed this morning just to get up. And when I seen uh, the light of day, <laughs> I'm going to say the sunshine. But when I seen the light of day, I knew the Lord had blessed me when I opened my eyes and just was able to see a little bit. <laughs> Amen. See a little bit at least because my eyes are not as good as it once was. But just to see a little bit and to be able to count my blessings, to be alive and to be here and to be with you on this, this morning. I um <laughs> I wasn't thinking about saying anything about this. But yesterday I was talking to my sister, and she was asking about some old pictures that, that she thought I may have, and we went back and forth. And I said, "Well, do you have some old pictures of me?" And so she she emailed me some pictures that I had not seen in a long while, and it was pictures back when I was in high school and my prom night and. And I look at those, I look at those pictures, I say, wow, is that me back in 74, 75? Why did I ever look like that? And so, you know, it's not until we look back at what we used to be and make appreciate where we are today. Okay, I'm not older. I was talking about 74, 75, you're talking about some years. And so, yeah, it, it, it made me reflect back on the time when I was young. <laughs> amen. And amen. And amen. And my friend, if you look 
live in the portion of where Brother Oscar lives in. The weather people says, in Dayton, Ohio, West Carrollton, Ohio, the weather people says that's 31 degrees and cloudy. 31 degrees and cloudy. 31 is all right, but it's still cool. It's still cool. And if you need to be in the element, please bundle up, stay warm, be careful, be watchful, because you never know what may occur. And as we say here on Chatting from the West, stay praying up and praising up. As I do in my, uh, when I'm out there in the element, I just pray to the Lord that I make it back to, to my destination and back. And that's my prayer when, I, when I'm out there going from place to place. Because in today's time, you never know what may occur. My friend, if this happened to be your first time listening to the program, and this happened to be your first time listening to the program, please don't allow it to be your last time. Come back, come back, and listen to us again so that we may pray up and praise up. And since you do have your ears on, and since you are listening this morning, we want to welcome you again to the program, not just welcome you to the program, but we would love to make you our honorary guest this morning, since you do have your ears on. Amen. Oh, no, man, amen. And we hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program this morning because we have a good program. Yes, we do. And we have a good chat. Yes, we do this morning. And of course, on yesterday, if you was with us yesterday, we began a new chat in uh, 2 Corinthians 5, beginning with 11, ending in verse 21. And we're talking about the terror of the Lord, the terror of the Lord. Here Paul says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We persuade. We persuade. So this morning we want to focus in on the terror of the Lord because many of us, many of us, we believe we know what the terror is. And I believe if we really knew what the terror is, most of us would be in the body of Christ. Many of us would be in the body of Christ. And many of us just don't care, to be honest with you. But this morning, we want to talk about the terror of the Lord. So we are, are coming from Revelation 20, uh, 1 through 15, uh, Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians uh, 1, I believe uh, the first Thessalonians 1, 6 through 10, Job 1, 6 and 7. And uh, there's another scripture there, but we're going to hit it when we are doing our chat. And we hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the chat so that we may study this terror of the Lord on this morning. So get ready, get ready, hold on tight to your seats this morning so that you may hear our word chat for this morning. <laughs> And my friend, my friend, if you love what you're listening to, share our program. Share our program. Tell others about our program. Share our program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors, with your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, or wherever uh, you're coming on the internet. Share, share, and share. Help the gospel be spread far and wide. <laughs> And if you're wondering where you can sit, where you can listen to the program, you can listen to the program on many of our internet networks. And here's our announcer to allow you to know where you can hear the program. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course you can Google our program chatting from the word hosted by Oscar Wall. You can pull up many of our internet networks, iHeartRadio, 45, Google Podcast Breaker, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm looking at the 
time I think we just had a station break. So if you if you heard the station break, we just want to thank you for coming back uh, from uh, the station break. When we break for a, 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 a commercial, please don't leave us. Come back and listen to the program again. And again, if you want to catch our program, of course, we're on many of the internet networks, and uh, we hope that you catch us live. We're on YouTube Live, and uh, we're on um, <laughs> Twitter Live, <laughs> and many more lives. So we hope that you catch us live, and invite your friends also to listen to us live. Let's get this gospel spread, because many are out there that are lost. They are lost and need to be redeemed or saved on this beautiful, uh, beautiful morning. And Brother Oscar, as I keep saying, I love to pray up and praise up with you this morning so that we may have a, a good <laughs> way of beginning our day. It's just a beautiful thing to begin your, begin your day with the praise, praising the Lord. So that your day may go great in the name of Jesus. <laughs> amen and amen. This is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to many, oh, you can send it to my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, or you can send it to Chatting from the Word at gmail.com, or you can put it on our Facebook page or any page you're listening to, to uh, the program through, or you can put it on our messenger page if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word. And my friend, this is our prayer time. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
If you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word to consider to those entities we have prior mentioned. And as always, if you have a prayer request that uh, you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'd be just so delighted and so pleased to do uh, just that. Again, this is our prayer time. Now, prayer time scripture will be taken from Philippians 1, 3 through 8. Our prayer time scripture, scripture will be taken from Philippians 1, 3 through 8. And if you care to read along with us, you are welcome to do uh, just that that Paul penned these words to the church at Philippi. Paul says, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all make a request with joy. For our fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that that we which have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even that it is neat for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my uh, heart in as much as both in my bonds and in the defense and consummation of the gospel. Ye all are my partakers of my grace, for God is my record. How greatly I long after you at all in the bowels of Jesus Christ here. Paul was thanking my God for every member of the Philippian church, always making requests. And my friend, as I continue saying here, if you have a request, and if you want us to pray for that request, we would pray for that. And we are Christians, we are in the body of Christ. We should be able to pray for one another. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace so that we may have a little talk with our Father this morning? Our Father, 
I fought with the six times and the slow. Father, we thank you this morning for your grace. We thank you this morning for your mercy. And thank you, Father, for loving us to our hearts. Father, we come to you this morning we humble our hearts, our minds, our thoughts, we lift them up to you. First of all, we just want to thank you, Father, for granting us another benefit of another wonderful, wonderful day. All we recognize is you that you you have made this thing possible. Giving all of us on this time side of the body another chance, a second chance to make what's wrong in our lives right and to walk closer and closer with you. I fall in this place and thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ come down from the beauty of heaven down to the sin of earth to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to connect with you. Oh, Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. So, so much, so much, so much. Yeah. I call me thank you especially for allowing the only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to take our own place on the throne, facing His face, becoming His sin, and our place, and that our sins may be washed away in His blood. Lord, we thank you. Thank you so much, Lord, for that sacrifice. Father, we pray for this world we can do. Pray for all the disasters, for occurrence that has happened. Earthquake in diverse places, storms and hurricanes and fire that's ripping lives apart and ripping homes apart, ripping memories of rain, memories, memories that that will trip you. For those that was a part of these disasters, Lord, we pray that they look up to you from this coming death. And Father, those that been, uh, was the last killings and, and other killings, Father, we pray, Father, that they look up to you from this coming death. For they have come to you who made heaven and earth. Oh, Father, 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 we pray wars and rumors of wars. Father, we pray for progression and pray. We pray for arms and mutual. We pray, Father, they seek the peace, the kind of peace, Father, that would bring about understanding. Oh, Father, 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 Father. Father, we pray, Father, that there be any boy, girl, man, or woman, who want to accept Jesus Christ, and they do it today, before it's everlastingly and eternally too late, that they be added to the body of Christ, Father, before it's too late. And Father, we pray for those that all love us. We pray, Father, that you talk with you. We pray, Father, for those that all love us and we hands of the police, Father, we pray, Father, we pray, Father, that you comfort me. Oh, Father, we pray for these police officers who have given their lives and their lives to you. Oh, Father, we pray especially for that families, Continue on comforting their families. Oh, Father, we pray for all of our political leaders. We recognize politics and the country. 
thing to govern this world is a confusion. But for we pray that they never make all this hindering us from worshiping in the spirit and in truth. So make laws and all committed in peace and harmony. Oh Father, we pray again for the church, the body of Christ. Father, continue allowing the church to be the lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Father, we pray that you would help them get all their doubts and fears. Cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest point of the sea where they won't resurface anymore. Oh Father, we pray for our program. Chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep this program on the airways. Father, help us to keep teaching and chatting about the Word. Your Word is to save to save our souls. Father, we pray for the message, the terror of our Lord. Father, help us that we may save us. That someone may recognize they stand upon this is of you. I want to be in your body, get their life right, get their life self in the body of Christ. So they won't face the terrors of the Lord. Oh God, Father, we They're having problems, marital problems, financial problems, problems in the home. Problems in school, problems at church, problems on the job, problems at the problems at the problems, Father. We pray, we pray for them, Father. And Father, we pray, Father, that they will continue preaching and teaching your word, Father. We pray that they continue to teach your word against all God, that they tell a dying world about Jesus Christ and be crucified. And Father, always keep us in church and never his church. In Jesus' blessed name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for reading our scripture text along with us and praying along with us. And as always, we hope that we pray for something that's on your minds. And as I continue to say, if you have a prayer request, we consider it on in and we will pray for that uh, request. And we always, of course, pray for those that are putting their effort out there to teach and preach the word of God and to teach others to do uh, the same because the world today needs to hear the power of Jesus Christ, needs to hear the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ on this beautiful, beautiful day. Amen and amen. It's time for our chat for this morning. The terror of the Lord, taken from 2 Corinthians 5, verses 11 through 21. Are you ready, Brother Oscar? I am ready. I am here. I am ready. I am here. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to hear the chat? And as I continue saying every morning, the mornings we're on Mondays and Fridays, that this is the best portion of the, of the uh, program.
program for me is when I'm chatting about the Word of God because it's the Word of God that's going to save you and I at the end. It's the Word of God that's judging us now. And it's the Word of God that's helping us to stay in the right frame of mind so that uh, we may uh, make heaven our home uh, one day. And I, I'm just, and maybe it's just me, but I'm under the impression that many wants to go to heaven. Many wants to go to heaven, but they're not willing to do what it takes to get to heaven. Could that be uh, the problem? Many is not willing to do what it takes to get to heaven? Or could it be that many just don't know? How are the process uh, that it takes uh, to stay in course and to get to heaven? And maybe it's the latter. I don't know, you know, but I just hope that if it's the latter, that we here at Chatting from the Word may assist you if you just don't know. Uh, the way to get to heaven. Don't just turn Brother Oscar off because you're upset by what he said. But if it's coming from the Word of God, accept it and try to do your best to do just that. Because Brother Oscar already knows that many have cut him off. And that's fine. That, that's fine with me. And that's fine with me. If you want to cut me off, cut, cut the gospel, hearing the gospel off, that's up to you. That's up to you. And I, I do recognize there's many other uh, programs that you can listen to that's carried uh, talking about Jesus Christ and him crucified. But it is just a blessing that we can come together to pray up and to praise up, as they say here, on Chatting from the Word. So, my friend, are you ready to chat with Brother Oscar? Are you relaxed? If you relax, go ahead and have your favorite drink this morning, coffee, tea. Milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever it may be. And we're not talking about the horse stuff. Cast that out the window. You'll need that anyway. And get relaxed. If you relax, you reclining. Share, recline on out. If you relax sitting at your dinette table, go ahead on and have a seat. But what we request, what we request here on Chatting from the Word, that you have a copy of God's Word as we study God's Word. And we hope that you have a copy of God's Word. Do you have a copy of God's Word? And if you don't have a copy, go ahead and get your copy of God's Word. You have time. Go ahead and get your copy of God's Word so that we can be on the same page and study God's Word uh, together this morning. So go get your, your Word. <laughs> a copy. Sorry. A copy of God's word and open to, open it to our text, which is uh, Second Corinthians five verses eleven, I'll read through twenty one, and we are hoovering, if I may use that term, on verse eleven, and we're talking about the terror of the Lord. So we want you to open to Second uh, Corinthians five verse eleven, and we're talking about the terror of the uh, Lord this morning, okay? And open your minds. Open your minds as we open the book, the Word of God, God's Word. Open your mind. Don't allow traditions and things that you've been doing over the years, a thing mom and daddy have taught you, grandmother taught you, get you all caught up into uh, not really listening to what the Bible is saying. So let's study the Bible together and see for ourselves what the Word of God is saying to us this morning. So my friend, are you ready to, to look at what God is saying to us this morning? And this morning we're talking from the uh, second letter that Apostle Paul wrote uh, to the Corinthian church. And we are in uh, chapter 5 and verse 11. And in verse 11, Paul, and I want you to follow with me on these words. 
because I want us to make sure that hey, we get it right. <laughs> Amen, Brother Oscar. And Paul says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest into God. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. And what we want to talk about this morning, let's talk about the terror of the Lord. What is Paul is talking about? The terror of the Lord. And when you think about the word terror, you think about things that's frightening. You think about things that is that will destroy you. You think about things that kind of well, you're going to meet your end, I'll be despised. Am I right? So, terror. What is Paul talking about? The terror of the Lord. And if he was with us on yesterday, we turned to uh, Revelation. And uh, Revelation 20. And of course, many might say, well, Brother Oscar, why are we turning to Revelation 20? Because I believe that Revelation 20 may key to us some of the things that the Lord is thinking about when it comes to a we that in the body of Christ, we that outside the body of Christ, and 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 the, and the, the judgment. The judgment, if I can put it like that. And but but before we get deeper into the uh, the book of Revelation, which I should have said yesterday, what well, we must recognize that the book of Revelation is written in signs and in symbols, and that's something something important to really be reminded of when you're studying uh, the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation is written in signs and in symbols. And not so much in signs and in symbols, but the book of Revelation talks about the past, the now, and the future. So when we're studying the book of Revelation, we must keep that in mind when uh, Revelation, the book of Revelation brings up certain terms. We cannot look at certain terms and certain numbers and say, well, that's in our time, uh, in a certain time, and that's what we're going to uh, try to cover here. But the book of Revelation basically talks about, in science and the symbols, and the reason why it was written in science and symbols is because Paul, John, excuse me, the Apostle John, was writing this from the Isle of Patmos, and he was sending it to uh, the church, and he didn't want any of those enemies of Christ to get this message. So he wrote it in a way where the church at that time could understand the signs and the symbols of past, present, and the uh, future. All right? So this is what we must be reminded when we are talking about the book of Revelation. And here, in our, as I said, the reason why I'm mentioning the book of Revelation and chapter 20 is the call to do dig deep into the tarots that going to, that's going to face those that have not accepted Jesus Christ. So read with me that first, in that first chapter of verse 20. And John write these words. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. What Brother Oscar wants to do this morning is to look at that great chain. Look at that great chain. The great chain. 
And when you think about a chain, uh, we think about many things when it comes to a chain. Uh, some use chain uh, maybe to hold back their pet dog, especially if he's a ferocious dog, or to keep their pet inside a, a dog house or inside the backyard where he can a dog or cat, some cats are ferocious, <laughs> keep him from running after uh, uh, automobiles or running after people or biting people. So you put a chain uh, on that dog so that that dog may stay or that pet may stay in place. And here, John writes that he saw, let me read it again, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And since we are come talking about Revelation, we know that that chain is a symbol of something else, right? It's a symbol of something, isn't it? And we know also chain, a chain is a, a, a strong substance that can uh, bind things together, the whole things together. Because once you think about a chain, a chain has other small links that links it together. One link after another link after another link after another link after another link. And more links you put together, the stronger the chain will be. Am I right? I know years ago when I was younger, I had a pet dog. And before I put the chain on him, I, want to rec I, I, I need to recognize how strong that chain was and what kind of material the chain is made of. Because some chains you get there, they're made out of flimsy material, material that can break. Am I right? But this chain here, and it's symbolically that John C. in Revelation had to be a strong enough chain, a strong enough link to hold back who? <laughs> it was who it was holding back. And it was who the chain was made for, wasn't it? So this chain here had to be made from a strong substance that nothing can break from. All right, Brother Oscar, now you're heading the right way. <laughs> Brother Oscar, you're heading the right way. So this is the chain that, that John is talking about. And I want to take my time and come to the chair of the Lord this morning. Because I want many of you to understand if you're not in the body of Christ and you're not outside of Christ, what is there for you if you die outside of Christ? And again, this chain that this angel had, that this angel was bringing forth, had to be made from strong substance, a substance that cannot break, a substance that cannot be corroded, a substance that is more stronger than anything on this earth, if I can put it like that. And then John says, and I believe this might be my last thought on this. Then John said, he lay hold on the dragon that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Now that chain was made to bound the dragon, the old that old serpent, which is devil and Satan, which is Satan. And we know according to Peter, that Satan is a strong adversary. That Satan is like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. And you know lions, lions, you can't hold back a lion just say, 
a plain chain. Uh, I guess a chain is not going to hold back a lion. But this chain, this chain must have, must be strong. And the links that was linking each link together had to be strong also. Because we only strong that chain and more stronger. It's no stronger than we could link it. Weakest link. You remember that program called the Weakest Link? And when the guy or the woman missed uh, uh, the question, the lady said, You are the weak link. So basically, a, a, a chain is no more stronger than its weakest link. So, in other words, each link must be strong enough not just to hold a lion, not just to hold a bear, not just to hold a ferocious animal that we can think about, but this chain had to be strong enough to hold back Satan himself. So this chain had to be strong, and this chain had to be put together with strong links. And like we said, the chain is not as much as stronger as we could be this Weakest link and stronger is a stronger link. So this chain had to be put together with strong links to hold back somebody like Satan. <laughs> Amen, Brother Oscar. That's right. This chain had to be strong enough to hold back Satan. And what can hold back Satan? And that's what we're going to start tomorrow. What can hold back Satan? What chain is strong enough to hold back Satan? And once we figure out what chain is strong enough to hold back Satan, we will figure out what the chain is. Because it's just a symbol. It's just a symbol. What chain is John talking about? So tomorrow, John is tomorrow. We're going to talk about the chain. Now, if you don't join us tomorrow and listen to us tomorrow, you're going to miss it out. You're going to miss it. <laughs> You're going to miss what the chain is all about. So join us tomorrow as we talk about that chain that can hold back a bound Satan, that old dragon. So join us tomorrow as we study the terror of the Lord. Amen, amen. That's all I have for you today. We hope that uh, you get something out of the chat that we had. We hope that you praise the Lord and we hope uh, that we brought a little joy in your life this morning. We hope that we did this morning. We hope that you will join us on tomorrow. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, loud be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, thy will is being done. Father, we just want to thank you for allowing us to bring this program to the airways, Father. Father, we just want to thank you for allowing us to see another beautiful day. Father, we just want to thank you for Jesus Christ and his word, Father. Help us to stick in Christ and in his word, Father. And Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. We pray that you be with them. Help them to have that snap, crackle, and pop with each step that they may take. Now, may the grace of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. May God bless.